Bellator 236 this Saturday at the Neil S. Blaisdell Arena in Honolulu, Hawaii. Very picturesque setting once again for Bellator out there this weekend. Of course, there is a featherweight Grand Prix quarterfinal matchup that a lot of people are going to be keeping their eye on. The undefeated A.J. McKee takes on Derek Campos. And, Dan, Tom, I got to ask, I mean, A.J. McKee, I've been hiring this kid for a long time, right? And I think he continues to get better and better. But Derek Campos... A, a, a very experienced veteran as well. Uh, perhaps somebody that, that can test AJ McKee. He looked good last time out. Give me an idea that this clash, I mean, is this is this one sided? Is this just an AJ McKee setup to roll on in the Grand Prix? Or do you feel like there's a real test going on here? Well, I think the odds may be discrediting Compost when they do come out. I do expect uh, Compost to be the underdog, whereas McKee to be the favorite. Again, John, you know prospects. You keep your eye on them. I know he ranks high on your list as exactly. well as many's, and it's for a good reason. That said, man, Derek Compost is West Texas. Is tough. I mean, this guy is a wrestle boxer. He can put you away on the feet. He can navigate the ground quite well. We saw him in, in gritty fights with Sam Cecilia the last time he was out in Hawaii. I got to imagine, John, he wants to get that taste out of his mouth. He wants to leave Hawaii with a victory and propel himself over the prospect here. I agree, man. I think Derek Campos is as tough as they come, and I think he can be problematic for really anybody he faces. So even though I am incredibly high on AJ McKee, you wonder. I mean, this is MMA. People get clipped. Things happen from time to time. So I'm, I'm very, very dialed in for this matchup. Now, I know you broke down all the tape. You, you put some work into it. Ultimately, what do you think? Does AJ McKee Key, keep that perfect record, or are, are, are we looking at a potential upset here? Yeah, I'll get down to the nitty gritty uh, details in the breakdown, John, like you said, perhaps even providing a potential path for compost, which again, like you said, John, you can't put past him, but ultimately that southpaw styling, the speed, compost gives a lot up. He takes a lot of power with him to get to 145, but we saw it. He, he gives a lot up to get down there too. I'm not sure how that works out on fight night when you've got speed and precision that McKee's offering. I'm going to side with McKee, but uh, again, don't sleep on this live dog that is Derek Compost. Yeah, I think this is just another big test for AJ McKee, man. I think the guy has, you know, greatness written all over him, but moments like this are where you can slip up. So check out the full breakdown. As I said, Dan Tom, he'll have it on MMA Junkie. Of course, Matt Erickson is out there in Hawaii all week, so we'll have full coverage there. Just keep it locked on MMA Junkie. We'll take care of you from Bellator in Hawaii.